What kind of video maker are you? Come on in, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about your cooking videos. All right, so some of you are going to be the kind of people when you make your cooking videos, you're going to tell a big, wonderful story about how you went shopping at the local farmer's market, got your produce, sniffed the flowers, talked to everybody there, came back and you made your dish. Cool, that's wonderful. Some of you are the kind of people who will tell a story about how you then make the dish for these wonderful people and you'll cut in B-roll of everybody, of things being played it, of that sort of thing. That's wonderful too. Some of you are straightforward, this is how I make it, that's all there is to it. That works too. You can do all three of them. You can do it however you want, but you need to decide what it is that you do and then sort of try to stick with that idea. Because if people come to you and they want to see you do a straightforward, this is how I cook, and suddenly you're sniffing flowers in the farmer's market while you're walking gently in your cashmere coat, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't do these things. Um, yeah, they're going to. Some people are going to be like, "Oh, I, I didn't come for that." And it's good. And it's going to be one of those things where you have to do what you feel good about. Yes. Would I love to do lots and lots of B-roll? I well, there are times where I would, but most of the times, no, because I'm not a B-roll kind of person. I am not the person who's out there with my handy dandy homemade basket going to the farmer's market. It's just not me. But if that's you, that is really cool. That's wonderful. Tell that story, be free with that story, and go with it. Do what works the best for you, because then you're going to make videos which make you happy. And that's what's important. Do videos that make you happy. Make recipes that make you happy. Make projects that make you happy. That's the important thing, and that's the thing to remember, because when it comes down to at the end of the day, if you are just doing this for work, it is just work. But if you are doing this for more fun, it is fun. As you can tell, I actually love doing this. I love showing people how to do things. I love teach making these recipes. There are some things where I even found myself going, you know, this would be really cool if I made it as a recipe and then, you know, it happens. A lot of the changes came about with this whole uh, YouTube partner program change and people are like, well, you need to do it for the passion of it, not for the money. And to which I'm going to say, as I said before, the money can be an incentive, the money can help you, but you do have to actually like what you are doing and the way that you are doing it. I am not Casey Neistat. You are not going to see my refrigerator door open up and me talking to the camera there. It just isn't who I am. But you will see me talk about certain things. I will make foods that I think that people will like, but I will make foods that I like. Like. And I would love to make more things that people would like to see me make, but I'm on a limited budget. So this is where the fun things about this, how everything wraps back around to everything, is that, you know, you're going to have to hear more and more people talk about, you know, check out my Patreon, which, hey, you can check out my Patreon and help support this channel and my other channels. But you're going to hear more about that simply because to do those other fun things, you, we need the money. But right now what we need is we need ideas from you. And we have to do this in ways that you enjoy doing. So if you are the person who wants to do lots and lots of shots of you walking in various places and sniffing flowers and doing it, going to your farmer's market, go for it. A hundred percent. If you don't do that, if you don't enjoy that, don't do that. that. That's sort of silly. Like I said, from the very beginning is you have to make it comfortable for you, be you, enjoy it, and tell your story. Your story might be just in a small room like this, talking to a camera. That's, that's absolutely fine. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this. Don't forget you can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home, and I also would love to hear from you and have you tell me what subjects you would like to have me cover, and I would love to cover them for you. And I hope I get to see you again next time. If you like this, remember to subscribe. Just click on my face. Every week it's a different video to help you with your production. And also remember to check out the other videos in this series and on this channel. Channel.